Hey, uh, this is Brian, and I'm here at GDC Play at uh, Game Developers Conference. Uh, we're checking out something created by not a game developer, but by a middleware company. That means that this company actually creates technology that game developers would then use to make their own games. This company is Sample Sumo, and I'm here with Bram de Young, who created this technology that uses sound to play games. So you can train the game to recognize four different sounds. The sounds have to be different, but they can be anything. Uh, right now we're playing it with a, a drum, a box of, uh, of mints, and a woodblock and a glass. And each of these sounds will control a different character in the game. If uh, my partner over there hits the drum, then one of the four cowboys that are in the game is going to be controlled. He's going to run faster than the other ones. And the whole goal of the game is to get the right cowboy in front of the others when a certain object is in your path. So for example, right now, we have uh, there's a cactus in the way. So there's a guy uh, with an axe who wants to chop it down. These sounds are replacing what would typically be maybe a button push on a game? Yeah, exactly. That's correct. So we're seeing this technology as very uh, good for usage with small children, for example. Right. Now, this game that we're watching isn't something you guys actually made. Can you talk a little bit about how this ca game came about? We created the middleware, but right. as you said before, we're not a gaming company, so we don't really know how to make games. Uh, but we found a school in Holland, uh, which is NHTV. You know, they have a lot of game development students. And uh, what we did is we gave them this middleware. They created this game, and uh, what you're seeing is uh, what they created. And there's actually there's some more things in the game that are audio uh, driven. For example, you can see the clouds; they're flashing in beat with the music. Okay. All right. And the level itself of the game is also it's um, we're using some of the information of the song, like how exciting the song is, and we're using that to actually build the level up. We're using that to you know build the terrain up. Oh, I see. Now, does it also the tempo or the rhythm of the the music actually modify the challenges you're facing in the game? No, it's it doesn't. All it doesn't. Like, it doesn't right now. I mean, there's a lot of things that could be done to improve this game. Right, uh, right. We've had some people saying, for example, that it would be nice to, you know, only work if you tap on the beat. That oh, would right. be really nice. Right. Uh, there's some other things that are really missing, like for example, levels. There's no level, so there's just one level, and after a while, it gets pretty boring to play. But you know, it's it's for us, it's a technology demo, and that's just perfect. So this is something that you're using right now. It looks like with PC, you've got a, a microphone set up to capture these sounds. But I think when we were talking earlier, you said that there's a potential to bring this to the iPhone or the iPad. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, all the iOS devices have a microphone, right? And that's that's really basically what we need. We need a microphone. And uh, once we have that, you know, then we can do anything. We do see a lot of games, uh, especially for kids, and maybe e-learning games. And you know, if you want to make something interactive in a different way than just pushing buttons, and this is, you know, it's cutting edge, it's new, it's something fresh. Yeah, and just so in case anybody didn't quite get this, these are just four random things. You oh, said yeah, you've yeah. been using hand clapping, finger yeah, yeah, yeah. snapping, like uh, all kinds of things to play. Yesterday with. I was running it with uh, with finger snapping and with clapping and with uh, with doing this. You nice know, in your mouth. <laughs> um, that must have gotten a little tiring. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty difficult, especially when you're in the training phase because you have to do it 10 times in a row. So it's like, wow. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you very much for taking the time. I appreciate it. And good luck with this. Hope, hope to see some games down the line. Thanks a lot.